What's good y'all, Papa Cook here, and today I'm gonna show y'all how to get some crazy drums, some bouncy stuff for someone like Travis Scott right now. And yeah, I'm gonna probably make this tutorial into like two parts, because as you can see here, there's like an outro sort of thing to this, and I can make like a whole different tutorial just for that. So yeah, this part is just gonna be for the drums, and the second part is gonna be for how to make like a good outro. By the way, some very, very depressing news recently, my laptop had to get its main drive wiped, because recently there was like some air in the laptop where pretty much it had like this automatic boot repair thing where when I tried to load it up it would just say it had to repair something and I tried for like a whole day or two to try to fix it and when I did part of that solution was I had to wipe the main drive but my hard drive everything in that was still good so a lot of my plugins that I had I didn't really install them back but I still do have some plugins but yeah I had to download a bunch of stuff again there are some upsides to it like now my desktop looks super clean I guess and my local disc is not completely full all the time so yeah um anyway i'm gonna show y'all the beat this has an acapella over it if y'all want me to drop this remix um i'm gonna go for 30 likes this time last time i did 50 likes and the video never got to 50 so yeah if you get this video to 30 likes i'm gonna drop this remix and the outside remix and yeah before i get into the sample make sure to like and subscribe and also join the discord server i'll be linked that in the description and yeah what's good So I have the sample. I was gonna break the sample down, but then I realized that first of all, it would take way too long for me to be able to edit this and submit it on time. And also halfway through the recording, my audio setting was on my interface. So it didn't even catch up the audio half the time. So yeah, that's a bummer. But also by the way, I'm gonna be dropping a sample pack soon. I don't know when it was supposed to drop this month, but you know, my main drive got white. But yeah, this is how the sample sounds so far. First, I put the stereo separation to like 50%. Then I just added this EQ. That's really it. Now we have the disgusting 808, the short version from Cypher's Spectrum Drum Kit. I'm gonna link that in the description. So yeah, honestly, if you're trying to make something bouncy, like something to catch a vibe to, add 808 sparingly, and you should give more room for the sample and maybe like the other drums, like the hi-hats and like the percussion and all that stuff. And if you're gonna add rolls, add them around like the end of a bar. And then when you're doing the rolls, just make sure that it like fades in. So yeah, that's it for that. I also put the fade out to like 28% and I boosted it by 6% and I put up the EQ by 50%. And I did put on this EQ too. Now we have this. So as you can see, there's a lot of drums here, nine in total. So first we have the fold hi-hat from Shryfreeze's ATL Culture, the Trilogy Bundle.
So yeah, honestly, make it something like kind of simple, but at the same time, not too simple, if that makes sense. In every bar, there is like some sort of like variation of the hi-hats like kind of dipping down or like going up, but it's not like too much. And make sure that it's like kind of repetitive so you can kind of like catch a vibe to it. Now I have the Disciple Rim and the Dolly Rim. Together they sound like this. Around the end, I kind of switched it up to make them kind of bouncy and unique. I added these like little rolls here and yeah. And for both of them, I did kind of EQ out the low end. Now I had the Molly snare. And by the way, all of these gems are from the Charter Freeze kit. And I think there's like one or two that aren't and I'll just point that out for you. Now I have the Dawn open hat. Now I have the Alien open hat. Now I have the Ambient perk from the Row XO XO Files drum kit. All I did was lower the volume and then I pitched it down by 300 to fit with the beat. Now I have the Zaw perk from Seeky's Deep Dive drum kit. It just hits around the end. It's very dark and unique, so I just figured I would add it at the end like that. Now we have the above perk from the same kit. And that is it for the drum pattern. Now we have the Gazebo 808 from Cypher Spectrum drum kit. with this i wanted to like make it simple at the start and then around the second part i made it kind of like a little complex with the slides and the rolls it just sounded super bouncy like that and then i added the impact kick from triphasis kit I just made sure the kicks didn't hit in every 808 because that would kind of sound like too much and together they're both going to sound like this. And that's pretty much it for the beat. I mean over here I added a transition. It's the Shatter Riser from Tri-Face is Good. And yeah, that's really it. If you like the tutorial or you find anything useful in here, then like and subscribe. And yeah, don't forget to join the Discord server. And yeah, peace.